When I hear the word simulator game, I think automatically, wow, this is going to be a gamble, right? They are a dime a dozen, a gunsmith simulators game, which is what we're reviewing today. Their publisher, Playway SA, has definitely churned out a lot of them, a good amount of them that I actually did review on this channel. Some good, some bad. Where does this one fall in? Is it worth playing? I'm going to be giving you a quick summary on how the game works, the good stuff, the bad stuff, and then if I actually do recommend it. So let's just jump right into it. The story. You have inherited a gunsmith shop from your uncle, and then it's kind of open-ended from there after the first couple of little tutorials showing you how to actually do a job, disassemble, reassemble a gun, buy stuff, you know work to work stations but yeah definitely it's your job to just earn money and then once again after the tutorial it's your job to prioritize what you want to do upgrading the shop your skills or even building up your gun collection so the gameplay basically boils down to these three things which is doing the jobs to get money upgrading your own gun collection and then some of the side stuff which is kind of interesting let's talk about jobs first so you earn money through these requests you have a computer and basically people send you these requests you, you scroll down and see which job you want to do you can see how much money you're going to be getting which gun you're going to be working on so you basically get sent a gun and then you're going to be fulfilling their quests you're going to usually going to disassemble the gun cleaning it oiling the parts and then modifying it to their liking you know maybe they want a new different kind of stock uh, some sort of scope added you know rail on or anything like that you're going to be buying all these parts on the computer again um, there is also paint jobs you can do lathing and also woodworking Next part is the gun collection stuff. Once you get enough money doing your own thing, you can head to the auction. You can buy guns and sell guns. They come in all sorts of conditions and you're going to be building and restoring them to your liking. This is probably the most freedom in the, in the game you're going to be getting. To give you an example, I ended up getting an M4 with a uh, 1100 win auction. but. Weirdly enough, the new scope I wanted was 500 bucks. It was way too much money. Anyways, then you have gun lockers to have and show off and pretty much appreciate your work. Now, the side stuff. So, there are upgrades in the game. Every time you do a job or you know do any sort of work, you're going to get experience points. And then once you hit a threshold, you get a skill points. And then there's like very, very, there's like small trees to do where it increases, you know, the amount of time. Uh, it decreases the amount of time it takes for you to do certain tasks like woodworking it you know it's just it's faster you can oil things faster or maybe you can buy things at the shop at a welcome discount then there is the firing ranges there's uh, two locations there's the cabin which has skeets where you can go in there and just bring any gun you want handguns shotguns snipers shoot all those there's also the long range where there's targets that's popping up and then there's the close quarters combat area location. Here, it's a room you're going to be running through. Lots of, uh, you know, uh, non-finished walls there that you'd see usually. There's static targets, and then there's randomized targets. You just go through it, and you try to get the highest time you can. So that's the gameplay. Let's talk about the good stuff, and then the bad stuff. First of all, good. What is good? All right, so the gun customization here, it's actually kind of nice. Um... So, you know, even if you've never held a gun before in your life, it's pretty easy to pretty much do what you want here. You click it and then it kind of automatically takes uh, take uh, takes off a part, puts on a part. You don't have to worry too much about it. Uh, about it. There is painting, like I said, you can mess around with it yourself. The woodworking where it's, it's, it's kind of intricate, where if you want to make a certain park, like, like a stock, you have to like shave it directly the way you want yeah, lathing and creating parts from literal blocks of metal so if you are here just for the gunsmithing portion and nothing else you can do a lot worse it actually is pretty cool to see the process of how it all goes another good point of the game is the personal collection stuff which is probably my favorite part of it actually looking what's for sale buying it seeing what conditions it is taking it all apart seeing which things you want to get rid of like oh like this uh this spring's destroyed or hey you know i want a new barrel etc so you, you can trash those you go on the website you you type in what you want you look for the gun and then you buy the parts and then you manage how much money it is and then you know you paint it and then you put it all together and then you go to the cabins and then you shoot it so it, it's really really nice you have the guns that you want and basically it's, it's just freedom that way the last good thing is the side stuff. I absolutely do love the buying, bidding, and selling. You can make all the guns yourself, 
or you can just buy new ones, restore it, and then sell it. The shooting ranges is a nice welcome pace. I said the uh, the uh, the cabin was the fun area, and then the close quarters combat is more of like the, the competitive area, right? But they, they even have like an outdoor area where you can shoot like plates and watermelons and stuff. It's just a little nice little add-on. Now for the bad stuff. Here we go. This is a simulator early access game. Now I've reviewed a lot of them and I, I went back. Honestly, I went back to a lot of them, maybe six months, a year later. Unfortunately, a lot of them are still in early access and they usually never get done. Whether or not this one is, I do not know. Um, so it's up to you whether to decide, you know, you want to jump into this one. On their Steam page, they do claim that they are aiming for around six to eight hours of development time before everything is complete. So what they want to do in the full version, by the way, is more guns, including flintlock historical firearms, more workstations like a photography station. Ooh, that'd be, that'd be kind of cool. More things you can create using the woodworking and lathing. And one of the most important things that they should add is user generated content through the Steam Workshop, adding your own colors, patterns and attachments. So who knows if they can make their own guns. Maybe you can, maybe you can have some gun, have some sort of like cool space gun or whatever. Um, so one thing that they don't have yet either is ranking on the shooting ranges. It's not necessary, but it would be nice to see like, oh, you know, how many uh, skeet, uh, skeet plates you can shoot or how fast the uh, close quarters you can get through, etc. And controller support. No control support as of yet, only using keyboard and mouse. So that's one thing that you have to worry about is this, uh, you know, it's simulator early access. You know, you never know if it's going to be done. Also, there's not much to do after you have seen it all. I basically described the whole game to you guys, you know, job after job, a you customize your stuff, buy, sell, build a collection. There's not much else to do there. Even shooting guns after a while, it gets a little tiresome. Another bad thing is it's early access, so you can expect some bugs. One thing that I did not expect the bug to happen in is during the camera work. For example, when you are assembling and disassembling a gun on top of the blueprints, it's, it's a nice layout, by the way, the blueprints. It shows you like, oh, you know, once you once you take off a scope, it's going to go over here and like it's all spread out. I wonder if real gunsmiths have something like that, because that thing is a really nice table and it helps you learn about everything that is composed of a gun. But when you're like holding a gun par and you're trying to get other like things on it it's just it doesn't work well and the controls are really uh they're just not intuitive and sometimes i try to move a camera and go towards a part that i've already disassembled to put it back on the camera won't sw it won't swing all the way over there it was really dumb and weird so yeah hopefully they can fix that because yeah that's that's like one of the biggest parts of the game um and also the tacked on there's tacked on skills i, I did say it's part of the game skills but honestly i feel like it's just there as a as, as a check mark like oh this is a simulator game we need to have some sort of progression i really would have preferred that they just get rid of skills altogether because they don't really do much a lot of them i want to say like 80 percent of them it's just oh you do this task a little faster you do this a little faster it's just like you don't really need that because it's all fast it's like pretty fast already um the only really good skill to get was the discount for buying stuff so skills did not need to be in the game all right so with the good and bad stuff out of the way is this game worth buying who should be picking this game up i would say this is a 50 50 recommendation i can go either way um i would say if you really love simulator games right and you are a gun nuts even so get it on a sale right it's currently going for 20 dollars. i would pick it up for 10 to 15 max there's nothing here for anyone else but people who love simulators and guns there, you know, they do promise more content in the future, and if they ever do that user-generated stuff, this would give the game a gigantic long lifespan for sure, but we'll see where it goes. All right, I'm going to end it here. If you guys like, uh, enjoyed, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. If you want to see my gameplay of the game, in the description is my Let's Play channel. I'll be uploading it there. Let me know down below, what do you guys think? Is this just another simulation cash grab? Do you like this idea regardless? Are you going to be picking this up or passing? Let me know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.